Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today is Working Wednesday. Working Wednesday. Working Wednesday. Y'all know I love working Wednesday. It's my favorite day of the week. So today's video will be about working at Subway. I worked there for a while. Um, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so today's video will be about working at Subway, as you all already know. Um, so, yeah, so I started working there when I was 15 years old. I worked there for for seven years. Um, I know that's a long ass time now looking back. Like, that was my longest job that I've ever had. And, yeah, so um, I got the job because I started working. Like, I was at, I, was, I knew my friend. My friend Laquita worked there. And she was like, I forgot what was happening. I think someone was leaving or something like that. And she was like, do you need a job? And I was like, okay, sure. It was never like I was looking for a job or anything like that. I went there. We didn't have an interview or anything. My boss just, um just hired me and he told me what day that I started so I so initially starting I don't really remember like how my first day was I think I started to get frustrated with some things because I I'm the type of person that I have to learn along the way um you can't just tell me to do something and then I remember how to do it so I was used to get frustrated y'all are gonna think this is dumb but I used to get frustrated because I couldn't wrap the subs up like I used to, it used to be so messed up, but then I got the hang of it eventually. And I was ready to quit, like, oh, I can't do this. But I did it and I stuck with it. So my pros would have to be my boss. My boss was absolutely the best boss. Um, I learned a lot while being there and the way I acted there, he never fired me. Um, if I was late, like I didn't have a car. So I stayed like literally down the street from my job. Um, and if I was late or overslept, I wouldn't set an alarm, first off, just to show you how bad my work ethic was at that time. And my boss would come get me, like, Alexis, wake up, you you overslept. Like, he would drive to my house and come get me and take me to work. Like, what boss does that? He was just an overall good boss. He was, like, one of the best bosses that I've ever had. It taught me a lot about who I am. Now, looking back, I I learned a lot. It cost me to grow a lot being in that position as well food so you get a sub every day now if you eat excessively um your boss might say something but all um subways are franchised so it just depends on the subway but my boss was really really cool and we used to we get a sub for free you could make your own sub i didn't really have a lunch break though um so you make your own sub you get free drinks you get free chips free fountain drinks but i didn't really have a lunch break so i would have to say yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Another pro would have to be I learned how to bake. So I learned how to bake bread and also cookies. And I took pride in that. Like, okay, you know, I'm all cold with it. I can bake a little bread, bake a little cookie. So, yeah. <laughs> Cons would have to be pay increase. Some of my colleagues were coming in making like $13. I was making like $8 and I had to cuss my boss out to get $9. And I feel like that was not right. I did not appreciate it. I was very upset about the whole situation at the time. Promotion. So some people would get promoted, like would come in, he would make them a supervisor or a manager. And I'm like, okay, I've been here six, seven years and you won't even make me a manager. But now looking back, if y'all would have saw how bad my attitude was, my attitude was so bad at Subway. I did not want to be a report with customers. I did not want to talk to them. I didn't want to say anything to them. Like, I just get your sub and get out my line. And that's simply what it was. And that's not a good way to be when you're in customer service. But I never got in trouble for it. Like, I get in trouble. My supervisor would talk to me. He would be like, Alexis, you know, you can't be like that. People were complaining about me. Like, that brown skin girl gets on my nerves. And she's so mean. But he never let me go. And that was my first job. And I think I would have been devastated if he did let me go. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, another kind would have to be the whole lunch thing. So, there and I didn't really have a lunch period so if you're eating and a, and a customer comes in you have to put your food down I won't really say it's a kind though um, I'm just want to bring that up and let you all know because it may not be like that now it just depends on what franchise you work at it just depends and yeah it really didn't bother me too much honestly and kind, another kind would have to be we got robbed two times. If you want to hear some story times on how we got robbed and what happened, I will do a story time. But comment down below and let me know that you want that. Um, or thumbs up. Well, I want you to thumbs up regardless if you like this video. But 
comment down below a one so I can know that you want to watch it. And let's see, success in this role. Um, so success at, at Subway would have to be being great with customers. You know, any customer service role, it's the basic stuff, the same stuff. Being good with customers, um, be lending a helping hand, being to work on, going to work on time. The same stuff it normally is with customer service roles. I quit this job because I got so fed up. Um, you will hear me say this in a lot of my videos. Like, I get to the point where I get fed up, depending on what happens at a job, depending on what I let, what I take in at a job. I'll get fed up and I will leave. So, Subway, I started to get like, oh my god, I gotta work. Oh my god, and my attitude got worse. My attitude was bad. But it got worse. And I came into work one day and the guy that I always work with, he was like, Alexis, our boss said, if you can't be nice to the customers, then you can just leave. I got my stuff and I stormed out and I never looked back. I never looked back. And now looking back, I'm so happy that I never looked back. Like, I never regretted it. I, I've had jobs that I've left the job, well one job, I left the job and I regretted it, like why did I do that? I was making way more there, I should have never did that, but this job I did not care. I took on Target full time and then I found another job as a dietary aide, so yeah, I was just like whatever, I was over it and sometimes you're just over it. Y'all hear me say that so much. Sometimes you're just over it, don't be afraid to let go. Have an action plan and let shit go, if it's not for you, let it go. Like. Everything in your life is yeah. safe. Everywhere you go, you're supposed to meet certain people. You're supposed to change. You're supposed to grow and develop. Um, some people stay at their first job until they retire. Most people don't. You know what I'm saying? Most people have to find themselves and find their way. Don't feel bad because you let a job go. Yeah, but I'll have a video about that. You see, I'm real passionate about that. So I'll have a video about that. But yeah, so I, I walked out. I never looked back or anything. So, if you all have any questions about Subway or you want to know anything else, comment down below. I love your comments on my Working Wednesday videos. I know you absolutely love Working Wednesday because it's my favorite. Yeah, I love helping you guys. So, if you have any questions, want to know more, comment down below. Check my social media handles. You can DM me. I will respond so fast. So, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Thumbs up this video if you love it. Don't thumbs down. And thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to love yours. Love who you are. Love yourself because you're beautiful. Just the way you are. Just the way you are. Don't let anyone make you feel bad for being you. Have a great day. Bye, guys.